This tutorial is part of a series designed to help you better understand how to ensure that your department's history is preserved by transferring records to UNCG's university archives. Here, we'll look at ways you can determine what records should or should not be sent to the university archives. Let's start by looking at the definition of public record. The general statutes of North Carolina make it clear that a public record is essentially any record created during your work in a state agency. A record can be considered public regardless of its physical form. So you may have public records in a digital format or in an analog format. The UNC General Risk Records Retention and Disposition Schedule guides the records management life cycle here at UNCG. A link to the retention schedule can be found at the web address on the screen. Specifically, the retention schedule outlines how long certain types of records should be maintained and specifies what to do with records after certain periods of time. Most records can be destroyed after a certain period of time, but some are scheduled to be sent to the university archives for permanent retention. Please note that the retention schedule lists major categories of records only. It's unlikely that you will find every type of record you create scheduled specifically and clearly in the retention schedule. But aside from this retention schedule, there are some general guidelines that you may use in determining what should or should not be sent to university archives. Our primary focus in university archives is on acquiring records that best document the work done here at UNCG. As such, the records we acquire specifically document key administrative functions of offices, departments, or units. As I mentioned before, we acquire records in all formats, and we try to acquire the records directly from the unit or department that created the records. Here are some examples of the types of records we often acquire in university archives. Accreditation documentation, minutes of campus committees, departments, or other key administrative groups, internal and external publications, including newsletters, magazines, and brochures, final reports, including departmental or unit annual reports or self-study reports, and charters, policies, procedures, and other key documents that guide your department or unit's work. Here are some examples of the records that we don't acquire. These records don't document the administrative functions of the university. Some of these records, such as personal records of students and health care records, are actually restricted by federal laws. Others, such as an individual faculty member's research materials or their personal family papers, do not document the administrative functions of the university, but may have enduring archival value. In our department, our manuscripts archivist can work with individuals on campus and in the community to determine whether these non-university archives materials might be acquired as part of our manuscripts collection. You can contact the manuscripts archivist or our university archivist by email or phone with any questions you may have. We're also happy to come to your office to review your records and discuss the types of materials we would look to acquire. You can also consult our resource guide, which contains a link to the UNC General Records Retention and Disposition Schedule and contains additional tutorials and tips about records transfer. Thank you for your help in ensuring that we're able to maintain a complete history of the university and your department.